Hey everyone, happy Saturday, June 15th. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about Utopia of the Seas. Royal Caribbean has officially been handed the keys to Utopia and there are five weekends left before it starts sailing for paid customers. So today my question to you is, are you excited or interested in Utopia of the Seas? Let's talk about it. Hey everyone, John here from Bite Size Cruises. Welcome back to the channel. If you are looking for information about cruising, the cruise life, or any of the new amazing cruise ships, you have come to the right place. We put out a brand new video about cruising every single day. So let's get into Utopia. I recently saw a little you know, snippet in the news as I was going through things this past week that Utopia has been handed over to Royal Caribbean. That's news, we'll certainly cover that in tomorrow's cruise news, but it really got me thinking about this ship just in general. Over the course of the past few months, we've seen the, the giant buzz for Icon, the giant buzz for Star of the Seas, being on this new Icon class ship, and I feel like Utopia has kind of flown under the radar. And I'm not sure if it's because there are a lot of Oasis class ships already, so there's not quite the same buzz about it. I'm not sure if it's because it's being marketed as like a weekend cruise, the perfect weekend, the ultimate weekend cruise. Uh, I'm not sure if that's it, but it's left me pretty intrigued, so I figured I would come on here today and see if people are truly interested in Utopia of the Seas. Please comment below if, uh, if you've booked Utopia, if you're interested in booking Utopia, or if you're excited about Utopia of the Seas. It is going to be three and four day sailings. I know we thought about smashing those together to do a seven day where you get to go to perfect day twice. I thought a lot of people would do that. However, it is gonna be expensive and it's the third ship in a row where it's like prohibitively, prohibitively expensive. Actually, probably the fourth, I feel like Wonder is still really expensive. So, Look, the reason they're expensive is because people are booking them. I'm not foolish, I understand that, I know how business works. It's a supply and demand industry. They are booking a tremendous amount of cabins and then when you're doing that, you can just continue to raise the prices and see what happens until you can't. So I totally get it from that perspective, but I don't hear of many people or see many people booking Utopia. To me, it looks like a really interesting ship. One, I love the Oasis class ships. So I would love to go on Utopia. But for some reason, I haven't pulled the trigger yet. We had booked them, uh, a couple of them, and then I canceled them. I don't know. We, we, we just decided not to go on as many new ships. Obviously, we asked our subscribers and they wanted to see some older ships or different ports. So that was part of it. But part of it is also like, I don't, for some reason, there doesn't seem to be a lot of excitement or buzz around it. And I can't understand it. One, we have a couple really cool new concepts, right? They're bringing back the mason jar from Wonder, which everybody seems to love. It's down home Southern bar with some great comfort food options. They are introducing the Royal R Railway, which I think is amazing. It's this little like walk back into time. They're gonna start with a Wild West theme where you get a train ticket. I think that sounds awesome. Uh, that there's gonna be more of those concepts coming with like the Orient Express, the kind of uh, view uh, of that Royal Railway as well. There are new bars. You have the Pesky Parrot, which looks really fun. There is the Giovanni's Wine Bar. There's the new double-decker Giovanni's where they have pizza and pasta and all the Italian food. And I'm just kind of going through here and I'm seeing a ton of fun innovations. It looks like they took a bunch of things that they got from Icon, a bunch of the new innovations, the colors, the fun things, and they've kind of added that to these upcoming new Oasis class ships, but it doesn't seem like people are super, super excited about it, which is really weird. I know they're combining things together here and they're making it seem like it's the primary ship of Perfect Day, which, because then here they have like 18 uh, adrenaline pumping slides, which are on board and at Perfect Day, right? So they're making it this just like perfect weekend where you're gonna jump on, there's 10 pools, but there's not 10 pools on the ship. There's 10 pools between there and on shore. Um, seven beaches, so everything's being marketed as kind of part of Perfect Day. They have the beautiful new lime and coconut on board. It just looks really, really fun. I 
they have the new Cantina Fresca, which is the uh, uh, El Loco Fresh by there. They have a new fun Mexican drinks bar, which looks really, really awesome. They have the food truck, pool bites. I'm just looking at it and it just seems like there's not as much demand or people that are super excited about this ship. So of course, I just figured why not come on today and ask people, are you, <laughs> I'll take a break from people yelling about me about me not enjoying my experience on Carnival Venezia and ask you if you are interested and excited about Utopia of the Sea. So once again, let us know in the comments below. I'm really eager to see, I was just gonna do a poll, but I figured I would come on and talk to you all today and see if anybody is interested in Utopia of the Seas. Let me know, and if you are, let me know what you're most excited about. Is it just a new Oasis class ship? Is it because of any of these new concepts, the restaurants or the bars? Are you excited that you can do a seven day cruise back to backs on here and go to perfect day twice? That would probably be my favorite thing along with the Royal Railway. But let me know what you think below. We really hope you have a wonderful Saturday. Happy early Father's Day to all the dads out there. I hope you have some really fun plans tomorrow for your dad. Uh, and everyone out there has a wonderful day. Uh, thanks, everyone. And we will see you tomorrow for the cruise news. Happy cruising.